Hi, welcome to Wellfolk Revival. Around here we do things differently and we're always testing the limits on um, new things that we can learn and try. And one of those things, one of those areas is chemical free living. And you might say, Sarah, that's, you can't live totally chemical free. And no, you can't, but you can change the environment in which you live in. I know I can't change the soap at my children's school, maybe not right now, but eventually. Um, and I can't change the air that they breathe, but I can change the things in my home and the soaps that they wash their hands with, um, the shampoo that they use. I can change the laundry soap that I clean my laundry with. All those things have chemicals in that are on the market that are not regulated and that they are actually innocent until proven guilty. The statistic is there's like 65,000 truckloads of chemicals that enter the U.S. daily. In a study, 256 chemicals were found in um, cord blood when uh, babies were born. And many of those chemicals are neurological disruptors, endocrine disruptors, so babies are already starting off on the wrong foot. And I wanna try to reduce that in my family and share to other women how they can change their family as well or change their home environment as well. So this is our story. And in fact, it started back when I was in high school. I was infatuated with essential oils and herbs and um, health food stores and trying to do things more natural, but I was never fully educated on what that looked like. So fast forward like 10 years and I was using essential oils on my children and they weren't working the way that I thought they should work and support um, their bodies. Especially for my youngest who was born um, and she was just a fussy, you know, fussy little baby, fussier than the others. And um, a friend of mine let me use her lavender and it was so different than the lavender I had used and was using on her. So I come to realize through research um, and education that many of the essential oils that are on the market are adulterated. There's chemicals added to them um, through the distillation process. And that's why the lavender I had used from the health food store didn't smell like the lavender from Young Living because Young Living lavender and all their essential oils are grown on their own farms and they're distilled in their own distilleries. There's total control over the distilling process all the way from the growing process to the bottling process. And to me, that was important because here on our farm, we like to see the things from our farm come to the table and we know the farmer when we're choosing Young Living, just like we know where our food comes from. So for us, that's important and that's why we chose Young Living. So we're using our oils now for everything um, to support our children's wellness. We're supporting their immune system so that they can keep going and going and going, um, especially in the winter time. We don't want, we hate you know, we hate when we're sick and we don't, you know, we don't like when our kids are sick. We hate when our babies are sick. So as a mom, I feel empowered that I can use these oils to help support their wellness. And then if they do get sick, I know I have oils on my shelf that will help support um, their tiny bodies and their respiratory systems. And I can put oils in their diffuser to make them feel good at night, to help them sleep. So I would love to like support you as a mom and help you create a chemical-free environment in your home so that you can support your babies, your children, and your family and so that you can have a healthier lifestyle because that's what it is, it's a lifestyle. So for Brooke and I, we started raising our own food probably, well, it was nine years ago when we got married and we started right away, raising our own food and we have a little homestead. And so it's important for us to know that our food is clean, that there's no harmful chemicals on it. And so I, I had two things that weren't aligning. You know, I had clean food, but then I was cleaning with cleaners that um, I had to open the window and gasp for air when I was cleaning my shower. I didn't have any sense of smell when I was done, you know, cleaning my house. And those harsh chemicals um, were ruining, you know, my body. And I also was a plug-in junkie. I loved going to that place in the mall and getting 
um, plugins that smelled like pumpkin pie or Christmas time. And those fragrances that are in there are proprietary to the company and they don't have to tell us what's in it. And so those fragrances are so toxic to our system and cause neurological damage. And I didn't want that for my children. So instead, we use our diffuser and we fill it up with scents for each season or to support our immune system or to support our emotional well-being and everyone gets the benefits. So it makes our house smell good and we get benefits. And people come over and they're like, wow, your house really smells good. And it's our diffuser and we have one in like every room because we love um, the benefits that it gives us. So now I have a lifestyle that is totally aligned. I have the food part and we have the chemical free living part and they just mesh so well. So it is a lifestyle and it's one that is a journey. Like I said, we started nine years ago and we're always learning something new. So don't think that it's an overnight thing. It is baby steps and I'm here to support you the entire way. So I would love to partner with you in helping you create a chemical free environment in your own home.